Good morning, Kingsley Community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here from the Kingsley United Methodist Church coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning, August 8, 2022, Be Still and Know, by Broad Street Publishing. James 1, 2-3. Today's devotional is entitled, Opportunity for Joy. So from James 1, verses 2 and 3. When troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. The writer writes, it's not easy to approach troubles with joy unless we can understand how these things work out for good. One of the best things that comes from trouble is that we are tested. And while testing seems like something to get anxious about, when we pass, we have more confidence than we had before. Endurance is a quality that is crucial to staying true to the faith, our faith in hard times. Rather than giving up when troubles come, hold on to your faith in Jesus and ask the Holy Spirit to help you in times of trouble. So I just spoke about this yesterday, about how we need to pre-decide to finish what we start, because it's easy to start something and it's hard to finish it, you know, especially when it gets difficult. So becoming a believer in Jesus is easy. That's, you know, as easy as a heartfelt prayer to Jesus. But staying true and completing what you've started is difficult so um, I use that famous scripture from Paul I have fought the good fight completed the race and kept the faith and people put it on bumper stickers and they put it on coffee cups and and it's really much more than that because Paul was writing this from a Roman prison down below the city where sewer runs so the only way he was kept alive wasn't like modern-day prison where they get three meals a day and better health care than some of the people that aren't in prison. Um, it would have been friends and family that would have brought him food and water to survive. And so it was uh, Luke, the third gospel writer and the writer of the book of Acts, who was with Paul and stayed with Paul. And he's writing to Timothy, because you can find that scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 4. So he talks about fighting the good fight, and he talks about um, completing the race, and he talks about um, keeping the faith. And so our job is to show up and to do what we can do in the name of Christ through using our abilities, sharing our faith, keeping the truth about Jesus, the true gospel. And um, God is the one who began a good work. And I told that to the congregation that, all right, quoted that from scripture that God is the one who began a good work in the Apostle Paul when he met him on the road to Damascus and it says that he will complete that good work um, and finish it so the only way we can finish well is through the work that God is already doing in us through trials and suffering and helping us to put one foot in front of the other as we journey with Jesus so um, we did not have online, so I got a call Charter today to find out, or Spectrum to find out what the deal is going on there. It's been two weeks now that we've not had internet. They've been messing with the internet, so we need to figure out what's going on. So in the meantime, um, that's, uh, that's the opportunity for joy, is to know no matter how, how you finish, as long as you finish. You're not there to <clears throat> win the race. Paul says, no, we're not winning, we're finishing. <clears throat> we're there to keep the faith and we're there to fight the good fight, which means during the time of suffering for the gospel, God gives us spiritual strength. And then through that, as this writer writes, testing. So that's why there's an opportunity for joy because God strengthens us spiritually when we endure for the gospel, when we suffer for the gospel. Um, so let's say a prayer. And uh, again, you can go back and read... Um, 2 Timothy chapter 4, and that'll tell you um, all about the letter that Paul wrote to Timothy about completing a race and, and what that means for him, not trying to win, but to uh, continue to walk, drag ourselves, hold on to the coattails of Jesus' robe, whatever it happens to be for you today, this week, this year. Sometimes we're not, you know, happily walking along in this journey with Jesus. There's difficulties, and Paul lists his difficulties. It's interesting. He lists out his um, difficulties. And I read the Message Bible yesterday from Second Corinthians where Paul lists out all the suffering he's had to endure for the gospel. He goes on about 
you know, being in prison, receiving lashes, rods from the, you know, beating, stoning, shipwreck, in the sea, out of the sea, for a whole day and a whole night. He's, you know, persecuted in the city, he's persecuted, in, and that was Paul's missionary journey. He goes to a new place, new location over in Asia Minor, because that was his job, was to go and plant um, seeds of the gospel and plant churches in um, areas where there were a lot of um, Gentiles, meaning non-Jewish people, and so that's what he did. And so a lot of the times he'd go into the Jewish synagogues that were in those cities and get thrown out, usually put in jail, and then released, and then he'd go and preach in the streets. And then he'd go to the next place and he'd get thrown out of the synagogue, always thrown out of the Jewish people, and Paul was Jewish. He was a Roman citizen, and they just kept throwing him out because he kept talking about Jesus. They didn't like that. <laughs> so um, he talks about all the hardships he's endured for the gospel, all the suffering he's endured for the gospel. And um, he says, uh, and that's just the half of it. So it's pretty interesting to see what um, Paul has suffered for the gospel. And so when this says that we have times of trouble, when troubles of any kind come your way, James writes, consider it opportunity for great joy. So what's the opportunity in troubles? Um, to find out how strong our faith is, to rely more on Jesus than we do ourselves, and to receive spiritual strengthening when there's um, hardships and trials that we go through. God gives us an extra boost of spiritual strengthening. So... Um, yeah, I think that's what this writer is talking about. So I'm going to uh, pray the prayer that they have here and then have a good day on this rainy, humid day. Lord, there have been times lately where we feel that our faith is really being tested. Help us to consider our misfortunes as an opportunity to lean on you and develop our endurance. Give us joy in the middle of our troubles, knowing that better things are coming. Amen. So better things are coming, always, when you follow Jesus. So have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.